Are we ready to start? So this is the bento box table reading. Um, we have Emmy Fuji playing Momo. Isabella Ravila Musi playing Alexa. Hello. Megumi Morino playing Okasan. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Henry Lombardo playing Jake. Hello. Miles Brown playing Mason. Hello. Uh, Miguel Artega playing Carl. Hi. And last but not least, Lydia Kalman playing Mrs. Nash. Hey. All right. Well, now that we're all here and all sorted, we'll just get right into it. Interior kitchen, day. Momo's house, entryway, day. A little Japanese girl, Momo, examines her reflection in the mirror. She pulls her hair out of its pigtails and ties her shoes. A dainty Japanese woman, Okasan, rushes in as she rummages through her purse. I don't want to go. She said she would show you around. I don't want to be showed around. But what's her name? Alexa. Momo folds her arms across her chest and turns away. Okasa turns Momo back towards her and hands the bento box from earlier. Hi, Obento. Today is Momo-chan's favorite tonkatsu. Exterior school drop-off day. Top-down matchka of bento box in Momo's hands. She tumbles out of the car when Okasa notices her backpack. No one here wears those. As Momo turns to shut the door, a Ziploc baggie of Oreos fall out of her pocket. Ted said I could have them. Bye. Two little kids, Mason and Carl, scurrying by, notice Momo and Okasan speaking Japanese and look back. Nihao! <laughs> Shabalu! Okasan notices this interaction in size. She furrows her eyes as she watches Momo go into the building before she starts the car again. Momo sits in a classroom, twiddling her thumbs and tucking and untucking her hair. We pull out to see her teacher, Mrs. Nash. Other kids half listen to her, including Jake, playing Battleship by himself, Alexa, hands folded on her desk, listening intently, and Mason and Carl scribbling on pieces of paper. I'm sure you all have noticed we have a new classmate starting with us today. Her name is Momo. Momo, could you tell us a bit about yourself? Um, hi, I'm Momo. And where are you from, Momo? Missouri. I mean, I'm from Missouri. My parents are from Japan. Oh, yes, yes! They don't think of Japanese. That's a great idea. Do you eat with chopsticks? Uh, I'm not sure what to say. So you don't know Japanese? No, I, I do. Um, uh, watashi wa momo desu. Wow, that's so very cool. Thanks, Momo. You can sit down now. We're very excited to have you with us. Now, moving on to homework assignments. Did everyone finish their timetables? Across the room, Mason and Carl whispered to each other across aisles, pointing at Momo and laughing. Interior cafeteria day. Kids come streaming in, pushing one after the other, excited to eat. Through the crowd emerges Momo, who surveys the crowd while holding her bento tightly to her chest. She eyes Mason and Carl's full table, catching eye contact with Carl, who turns to whisper to Mason. They both laugh. You can't sit there. I'm Alexa. My mom told me to sit with you at lunch today. Alexa places her lunchbox down next to Jake, who's already seated, lunchbox open. The crust the only remains from a sandwich, and a solo game of Battleship underway. Momo looks back and forth between the two before deciding it's safe for her to sit too. 
Alexa opens her lunchbox and pulls out a sandwich. Momo unties the fnorski cloth and pulls out a bento box, all set with matching chopsticks. She slowly starts opening it up to reveal the decadent food that was specially packed for her. This is my friend, Momo. He's in love with Battleship. Oh, you're the one from Missouri and Japan. Do they have Animal Crossing in Missouri? Yeah. Probably not Spider-Man though. My neighbor didn't have Spider-Man when he first came here. Yes! Take that! Just sunk your destroyer! Who's winning? He only plays himself. Wait, how are you from Missouri and Japan? It means she's Japanese. Oh, like how you're from Jews? No, I'm Jewish, Jewish. I'm from Missouri. Momo looks back and forth between them, then looks down. She lowers her chopsticks to pick up an egg roll when- Ew! What's that? My lunch. Where'd you get it? My mom made it. <coughs> Smells weird. It, it's Japanese. Mason said they heard you speaking Chinese to your mom this morning. Uh... Is that true? Not Chinese. Do you know what this means? Konichiwa. Uh, of course I. Ugh, I wish my mom would pack me two sandwiches. Momo looks down at her food and pokes it. No, I'm bringing this to lunch tomorrow. Momo doesn't answer. She gets back to packing her lunch, aggressively smearing mayo onto the sandwich and getting it all over the counter. Okasan starts pulling out more ingredients, trying to be helpful. I said I could do this on my own! The knife clatters to the floor. Okasan picks it up, washes it, and sets it on the counter for Momo. She then heads for the door. Fine. Interior, car, school, drop-off. Day. Momo is reaching for the car door when Okasan stops her. I already have a lunch. Momo, look at me. Okasan mo ne, kodomo datta koto ga aru. Taihen na no wa yoku wakaru yo. But you're Japanese. I'm American. Americans eat American lunches. You can be both. This is as much a part of you as this is. It's okay to like different things than the other kids. It doesn't matter what you look like or the things that you eat. What matters is what's in here. <laughs> Mrs. Nash said that it's really bloody in there and that there are three arteries. Four. You have four arteries. <sighs> I hate blood. Okasan pulls her in for a tight squeeze. Okasan loves your bloody heart. Momo hops out of the car and skips inside of school. Momo turns the corner, looks both ways, checks that the scene is safe, then pulls her bento out of her backpack and dumps the contents into the trash. Interior, school, cafeteria, day. Lunchtime again. Momo, Jake, and Alexa all sit by each other. Simultaneously, they pull out identical sandwiches. Momo watches her classmates with furrowed brows, eyes twitching back and forth between them. 
What's proper sandwich eating technique? In unison, they lift their sandwiches and take a big bite. Why'd you do that? I'm not very hungry. Can I have your sandwich? <gasps> Two sandwiches? Best day ever! Interior bus, day. Mama and Alexa sit squished together on the school bus with a tuba dominating their space. I love band practice. You know, I wish it was every day. Hey, what's your favorite color? Purple. That's my sister's. But see, we can't have the same favorite color, so I chose blue. Wanna play truth or dare? Sure. Mama, you wanna play? Okay. You start. Okay. Mason, truth or dare? Dare. Okay. Hmm. All right. Lick Carl's weenus and yell weenus. Easy. Weenus! You. Okay. My turn. Momo. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. Hmm. Can you see through your eyes? What? Yeah. Why are your eyes so skinny? Guys, it's because she's Japanese. That why your lunch smells weird? No, I had a sandwich today. I have homework to do. Momo turns around and pulls out a notebook. She wipes away tears from her eyes. Okay, my turn. Alexa, truth or dare? Interior Ashkenazi house, day. Momo and Alexa lay on the floor playing their switches. Alexa sets hers down. I'm hungry. The kitchen walls are decorated with Jewish decorum. David's star, a sign that reads Shabbat Shalom, various paintings with Hebrew inscription. Alexa rummages through the pantry. She pulls out a matzo ball soup box. In one motion, she moves from the pantry to the cabinet, grabs a pan, then moves it to the sink to fill it up with water, and finally sets it on the stove to boil. Momo observes in the corner of the kitchen with her arms crossed, clearly uncomfortable. Is your mom gonna make dinner soon? She's not home for dinner. Not home for dinner? My mom always cooks dinner. Alexa starts tossing carrots and onions into the pot. What's that? Matzo ball soup. Try it. You're missing out. Momo stares at it. Alexa stares back. She blows on the spoon and takes a sip. That's so good! I told you! She hands a bowl to Momo, who immediately starts slurping it up. How'd you learn to make this? Alexa reaches for a recipe box on the counter and hands it to Momo. You taught yourself? What's Kugel? It's Jewish. I can make you some tomorrow if you want.
Interior School Cafeteria Day. Ring! Lunchtime. Kids come streaming in. Mason and Carl push past the crowd to get next to Momo, Jake, and Alexa. Hey, Momo, did you bring your stinky lunch again? I hope it doesn't stink up the whole place. Yep, and I'm not sharing. Momo, Jake, and Alexa sit down in their usual spots and plop their lunch boxes down. My mom packed me two sandwiches! Momo ignores Jake and begins setting the table for herself. Bento box centered, chopsticks laid out straight, napkin folded to the side. Only the best presentation for a masterpiece. She opens the box and we're ready to brace ourselves for the terrible presentation when... Momo reveals a perfectly packed bento, the same as the one from the first day. Oh, it's just your Chinese lunch again. Can I try some? I made it myself. You might not like it. Wow, this is so good! Jake hasn't noticed what's going on and finishes the last bite of his sandwich. He eyes Alexis. Are you going to eat that? Sure, you can have it. Momo, can you share? Momo notices something at the bottom of her lunchbox. She pulls it out to reveal Oreos with a note that reads, I love you, Okasan, in Japanese. Three sandwiches? Best day ever! I was deciding what to order for lunch. I needed something cost effective. I don't want to spend a bunch. Didn't have any time to make anything from scratch. All I had in my house was a bag of Sour Patch. I chose a spot with Express in the name. It's going to be fast. I know they don't play games because there's no time for debate. My next stop is an elementary school convocation. I walked in and knew exactly what to get. The guy asked me for my name and I just said left. And when my lunch came out of the kitchen, let me tell you, left made the right decision. The soup and the salad next to it was the rice and the California roll that looked real nice. A full bento box of teriyaki and more. I don't think I've ever eaten this good before. And if one thing's for sure. Sure. I know my lunch is good. Well, you were spinning on a playground swing. I was like Sonic racking up these rings. I closed out the party before you know what to bring. You can find me on Google and you're uneven on Bing. You got no bling from the get-go. Can't even rap without a click track, let alone the tempo. Building up the pressure like Coke and Mentos. I'll serve it to you fresh and box it up like a bento. 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 Interior various bedrooms stay. The kids are on Zoom while Mrs. Nash attempts popcorn reading is its wet, slimy skin and its different life cycle. When amphibians are born, they have gills that help them breathe underwater. They go through a metamorphosis as, Momo, your turn to read. Darn it. I'm in class right now. Hey, where did Momo go? There's a crash course on amphibians. Your parents will have the link. Mom, the Wi-Fi's not 